Hey guys, so welcome back to another video. So in this video, I am going to show you how I do the double exposure photographs. You know those arty kind of uh, photographs where you see two pictures or maybe even three combined together to give you a very unique look. But I'm going to add something else. I'm going to make it move, animate using Plotograph together with this end product of double exposure. There are apps that can do double exposure such as Enlight uh, Photo Fox, but in this video, I'm going to show you how to use Affinity Photo on your iPad. So if you don't have Enlight, uh, Photofox or even Bazaar, because these two apps require, I think, subscription or something like that, Affinity Photo is just a one-time purchase and the capabilities of Affinity Photo is so much more. So if you have Affinity Photo, you can make use of this and I'm going to show you how I make use of Affinity Photo to do double exposure to combine three images like this. So let's not waste time and let's get into the video. Alright, now let's start Affinity Photo. Let's make a new document. Now it is important that we set the size to 1920 by 1080 because we want to make uh, a movie out of this. So set the size accordingly. Now once we got the document we're gonna place a photograph well in this case I'm gonna choose uh, a picture of Jon Snow from Game of Thrones and now it is very important to get uh, a high contrasting image so now I'm gonna select the smart selection brush tool I am going to select the character the main character Jon Snow so just paint it over and just get the main the main character just brush it don't worry next I will get the refine tool and then I will clean up all the tiny little details and try to delete uh, I mean exclude the things that I do not want so especially the the background around the the fine hairs that you can that you see here so the refine tool will easily remove the background from the hair so that is done so I'm going to set it as a new layer so as you can see there's a new layer there and the original is below I don't want the original so I delete it and now I'm going to erase a bits of uh, top part of his head because it's a bit uh, cropping from the origin uh, based on the original photograph okay so that is done so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get another photograph so these are the white walkers so I'm gonna resize and then make sure that it fills up it covers the main image the first image of Jon Snow it has to so now we're gonna set the the blend modes so go to the layers and choose lighten so that's the blend mode for the white walkers which is on top of Jon Snow's uh, picture so I want to make Jon Snow's uh, image um, even more contrasting so I'm going to set the brightness to these levels so you might want to do that the same way so that I can see a lot of darker areas so that the white walker image will show through so now I'm going to set the brightness and contrast of the white walker image so let's let's set it now change the brightness make it darker and the contrast higher okay I think this will be good now by right by right I can actually flatten the adjustment layer with the image but in this case I don't know why it couldn't so I'm just going to drag the adjustment layer into the white walker image so you see it shows through but I still need a background a white background below Jon Snow's layer now we can see so if, if we have a white background as the lowest layer the white walker image can, can show through only uh, Jon Snow's layer but not the white background layer so you can actually adjust the white walker's uh, image I want Jon Snow's face to be more uh, visible so I'm going to erase a little bit of the White Walker image 
the blends. So just slowly, the opacity is set to 21%, the eraser opacity. So I'm happy with that. So right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to flatten this whole image together. Flatten it. And now, again, I'm going to get that uh, selection brush tool, the smart selection brush tool, and just select this character's image, Jon Snow. So I'm, I'm going to exclude the white background. So I'm selecting the refine selection tool and I'm going to ex exclude the, the white background on the edges, especially the fine hairs. Those are the ones that we want to animate uh, later on. So I don't want any white background around it or within it. Okay, so I think this looks fine. Make a new layer and the old layer I'm just going to delete. Okay, so now I'm going to add a new fill layer and this time around it's going to be a gradient fill. So make sure that uh, I will choose the, the colors. So one is white and the other is bluish. Okay, so now I'm going to set uh, push uh, John Snow's character's image to the left side and then I'm going to add a, a text Winter is here So the reason why I push it to the left side is because um, of the video editing later on So I'm going to set the font I'm going to export to JPEG file and I'm going to open Plotograph Now Plotograph already done this if you want to know how to do this, I have a video on it, you can check it out. But as you can see, I'm going to export this plotograph video. And then I'm going to use Videorama. This is a very good app and I can because I can overlay a video effects. I'm going to choose a snow video effects. So as you can see, snow is falling. Beautiful. So once I'm happy with that, I'm, I can export it to Instagram. Alright, so that's how I combined three photographs and I made uh, double exposure on them to make it look so fancy. So you don't really need Enlight Photo Fox or Azad uh, apps. All you need is Affinity Photo for your iPad and then add on some uh, animation features from a Plotograph to make it move. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and do consider to subscribe because I will put up videos like this and more in the future. So I'll see you in the next video. Bye.